Dragonflies first began flying over ponds, marshes and reservoirs over 350 million years ago. This prehistoric insect belongs to the order Dragonflies, Lat. Odonata. There are more than 3,000 known species of dragonflies living in almost all continents of the world. In this article you will learn 15 amazing facts about dragonflies that you may not have known. 15. Dragonflies are often confused with equal-winged dragonflies. The dragonfly division consists of just two main suborders, the diverse-winged dragonflies, Anisoptera, and the equal-winged dragonflies, Zygoptera. Most people at first glance confuse them with each other because, in general, they look similar. The difference between them lies in their wings. The more familiar dragonfly has two pairs of wings, which means it has four wings, while the equal-winged dragonfly has only one pair of wings, which means it has two wings. When resting, dragonflies spread their wings horizontally, while equal-winged dragonflies press their wings against their torso. Another indicator is the eyes. Most dragonflies have overlapping eyes, while all equal-winged dragonflies have separate eyes. 14. Dragonflies older than dinosaurs If we went back about 300 million years, we would probably come face to face with the ancestors of dragonflies, the Meganisoptera, or Protodonata. These long extinct dragonfly relatives lived between 323 and 250 million years BC in the Paleozoic era. The vast majority of Meganisoptera were the same size as modern dragonflies. However, one species, known as Megatypus, would probably scare the hell out of anyone who encountered it. The clue lies in the name, as Megatypus grew to an alarming size with a wingspan of up to 70 centimeters. 13. Dragonflies can be found all over the world A variety of dragonfly species can be found in almost every corner of our planet. Most of them tend to be found within one particular area, but there are a few species that are more common than others. For example, the Sentinel Imperator Dragonfly, Lat. Annex Imperator, can be found throughout the Americas, from the southernmost tip of Argentina to Newfoundland in Canada. More impressive, though, is the red-headed wandering dragonfly, Lat. Pantala flavescens, which can be found in warmer regions on every continent of the world except Antarctica. 12. Dragonfly larvae live underwater invertebrate insects in the larval stage of development are called nymphs. Examples of such insects are grasshoppers, cicadas, and dragonflies. However, it is especially appropriate to call dragonfly larvae nymphs. In mythology, nymphs were called spirits that lived in rivers, streams, and other such places. Dragonfly nymphs, like their mythological namesakes, live underwater. Adult dragonflies lay their eggs in the tissues of aquatic plants or on the surface of the water. Once they hatch from their eggs, nymphs spend several years underwater, feeding on other invertebrates, tadpoles, and even small fish. 11. Dragonflies are incredibly adept at flying If you've ever vacationed by a lake, you probably know what we're talking about. Dragonflies' flight abilities are so impressive that they have even been known to migrate across seas. They can move in any direction, yes, they can even fly backwards and instantly change direction, turning almost on the spot. They have wings so powerful that their flight speed reaches 36 to 54 km slash hour. There are old records of an Australian dragonfly species, Austrophlebia costalis, with a speed of up to 97 km per hour. Although these records are not considered reliable because speed has not been recorded since 1917. 10. Dragonflies can control all four wings independently One of the main reasons dragonflies are so adept at flying has to do with their wings. Dragonflies can flap all of their wings independently and, because of this, own four different methods of flight. Dragonflies can soar like helicopters, fly staggeringly slow or fast like an arrow, and even change direction on the spot by flapping all four wings in sync. They can also glide freely, with females gliding behind the males during the mating process in flight. 9. Dragonflies are some of the world's most skilled predators Dragonfly adults are predators, living off an almost exclusively carnivorous diet of other insects such as mosquitoes, flies, moths, and smaller dragonflies. Because of their speed and agility in flight, they grab their prey with their limbs while in the air. The efficiency of dragonflies' hunting abilities, however, is one of their most outstanding characteristics, as they are able to catch up to 95% of all insects they choose as their prey. Once they have caught their prey, they immobilize it by biting its head. 
Then they usually sit down somewhere and enjoy their meal on the spot, but they can also eat while moving. They use their incredibly powerful jaws to quickly dispose of their prey, most often starting with the head. 8. Dragonflies are calculating killers when they hunt, dragonflies don't just stalk their prey by tracking its movement and outrunning it. Instead, they do something similar to what we humans do, they intercept their intended prey. To do this, they have to calculate not only the speed at which their prey is moving, but also where it is going, and how far away it is. They are able to do this in microseconds and be where it will be, not where it is now, to capture it. 7. Dragonflies are able to camouflage themselves in flight a certain species of dragonfly called the Australian Imperial Dragonfly, Latin, Anax papuensis, has been documented to use a technique called motion camouflage while fighting for territory with other male dragonflies. Simply put, they fly in a certain direction to make it seem as if they are not moving at all. However, this is just an illusion, as in reality they move quickly in their direction. This works by moving along such a flight path that they are always between the target and where they began their attack. 6. Dragonflies have long been considered evil in Western culture Dragonflies have been called different names throughout Europe, but they have all been attributed some kind of evil or something sinister. For example, the Latvian name for dragonfly translates as damned goat, the Portuguese call dragonfly the eye snatcher. But the most ominous name for dragonflies is in North America, the devil's darning needle. A darning needle is a large, blunt needle used to darn holes or freight areas of clothing or pieces of material. This name for dragonflies in North America comes from the legend that dragonflies mend the lips of naughty children while they sleep. 5. However, dragonflies are not considered bad everywhere Japanese folklore associated with dragonfly stands in stark contrast to how they are traditionally perceived in the West. While the West sees them as companions to witches, snakes, and even the devil, Japan considers them creatures worthy of respect. The Japanese say that dragonflies are a symbol of courage, luck, strength, and even happiness. For, the dragonfly's eyes are a sight to behold dragonflies have the same eye structure as the average housefly. This means that their eyes are actually made up of thousands and thousands of individual lenses that receive information about their surroundings. Dragonflies have up to 24,000 such lenses, facets, thanks to which they can see almost 360 degrees. Their only blind spot is right behind them. Thanks to their incredible eyes, dragonflies can capture an individual insect from a swarm while watching their surroundings and flying at high speed. 3. Some dragonfly species fly much farther than you think certain species of dragonflies are known to migrate usually flying to new places to lay their eggs in different ponds or to avoid unsuitable weather or temperature changes. They can migrate individually or in giant swarms. One example of a dragonfly species that migrates in swarms is the green sentinel, Lat. Anax junius. In the fall, they head south where the weather is warmer, returning only in the spring. Another impressive dragonfly species is the red-headed tramp, Pantala flavescens. It has been recorded to migrate up to 17,700 kilometers between India and Africa. 2. Dragonflies can regulate their body temperature Dragonflies are cold-blooded creatures, which means that their own bodies don't produce enough heat to support themselves. Essentially, cold-blooded creatures must draw heat from their environment. Dragonflies do this by basking in the sun, just like lizards, but that's not the only way. They know how to get warm through a process called wing buzzing, in which they vibrate their wings at a speed that releases heat. 1. Dragonflies can't stand the heat while dragonflies need to warm up to a certain temperature, they also need to make sure they don't get too hot. One tactic certain dragonfly species use to fight the heat is called the obelisk pose. You may have even seen them in this pose and wondered what they were doing. Now you won't be surprised by it anymore. A dragonfly assumes the obelisk pose by practically standing up in a handstand and raising its abdomen high into the air. This helps the dragonfly cool down a bit, thus reducing the amount of sunlight hitting its torso. In conclusion, it's pretty easy to see why there are so many odonatologists, specialists who study members of the dragonfly order, all over the world. The more you learn about dragonflies, the more you begin to admire them. They are the most ancient insects, their vision and ability to fly are unmatched, and they are very beautiful. 
Given their impressive history on Earth and their incredible abilities, it would not be surprising if they outlived most of the insects we know today.